Right, so, hello everyone. Uh, just back with a quick haul video. This is the first video in a long time where I've actually spoken to the camera and looked at the camera. Um, sorry it's taken me so long to upload this. I bought these bits quite a few weeks ago. Um, but I've been really poorly with, with girl flu, um, which is obviously worse than man flu. So I haven't really felt like talking to the camera and I've sounded like a man anyway. So, um, yeah, so just a quick haul of a few bits that I've, I've been buying over the last couple of weeks. Um, some clothes, some beauty. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So the first things I bought are these by Crazy Colour. Because um, as you can see, my hair is currently pink and the underneath, I don't know if you can see, is, is purple. Um, and I wanted to change my brand because I tend to find that if I stick to one brand, I've been using directions um, a lot lately, if I stick to one brand, the colour doesn't last as long. So I wanted to change back to Crazy Colour um, for this time, just to see if I can get the colour to last a little bit longer. Um, so if I show you the shade... That's the colour, I don't want to spill any on the carpet, but that's the purple one. Uh, and this is called Hot Purple. And then this is Pinkismo. And this is the pink one. And that is like, it's got a big air bubble in, but that's the, that's the shade. Um, and this one, I've used this one before and this one comes up quite bright. This one comes up more bluey than purple, but yeah, I've got those. I think I bought these from... Oh, website hair dye UK or something uh, and they were two for, two for seven pound fifty so that was that uh, the next thing I think I got oops oh, on the floor um, oh, sorry that was that was really unladylike lay, laying about like that the next thing I got were some um, some beauty products I oh, should really have been organised for this video. Um, the next things I got were three nail polishes, and these are these two are the Maybelline um, Color Show, and this one is in the shade um, 104, and it's not in English, so I can't pronounce it. And the other one is uh, 554, and that's in lavender. And then I also bought this L'Oreal Graffiti one. As you can see, it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails at the moment. So they look a bit scruffy because I've done them a few days. But that's what I'm wearing at the moment. And that one's just like a... I guess it's a bit like a sparkle, but except it's black and white specs. Um, so, yeah, there's those. These were on three for two in Tesco. So I paid for paid for these ones and got that one for free. I think these, were, these ones were £3 each uh, and that one was £5. Uh, the next thing I got is a brush, and it's just a foundation brush, and this is by uh, UBU number twenty. And that came from Tesco's as well, six pound fifty. Uh, I know people go on about Mac and spending twenty or thirty pounds on a brush and Sigma and blah blah blah, but do you know what? I find cheap brushes are just as effective um, for a fraction of the cost. Maybe it's because I haven't used Mac because I won't I won't spend the money. Um, but for me personally, I find these are as good as anything. So yeah, I got that. And I did get another brush. But I think I maybe sat on it. Yeah, I did get another brush. If I find it, I'll show you. But at the moment, I think I'm probably sitting on it. Um, this is the problem with doing these videos sat on the edge of the sofa. It's not probably the best, because I really should find somewhere else to sit and do them. But it's actually easy, because I can prop the phone on the radiator and then just sit and look. But it doesn't make for very... Um, professional looking videos. Um, right, so the next things I got um, were some beauty products, some high end beauty products. Uh, the first thing was this by um, Longcomb, and uh, it's a mascara. It's their Hypnos Drama mascara, and I'll show you. This is the brown one. This is in shade 2 and it's brown, and that's what the packaging looks like. It's really sleek and really nice packaging. And the wand is like that. So it's sort of an S-shaped wiggly wand. Um, I was actually a bit disappointed because when I bought this, I bought this from, from Devon's online because um, I had a voucher. Um, it looked a lot, lot bigger. The brush looked a lot bigger um, on the website. And when it arrived, it wasn't anywhere near as big. So I thought, oh, it's not going to give much drama. It's not going to be be great. But actually, for a brown, considering brown doesn't give you the intensity that a black would anyway, it's actually a really, really good mascara. I'm really pleased with that. Um, I think it was £22. So, yeah, there's that. Next thing I got was by Urban Decay, and it's their de slick in a tube. Uh, I was quite disappointed, well, I wasn't disappointed with this, but I was quite shocked by how tiny it was because Debenhams had neglected to put the size on the website, and it's only this tiny little baby tube. 
Um, it's 20 mil and it was 18 pounds. The only thing I will say is though, although it's tiny, you need so little. You need such a tiny small amount to do. I do my forehead down my nose and under my chin, um, on, on my chin, and you just don't need very much. So although it's only tiny, I can see it's probably gonna last two, three months. So, and I've been using that every day and it is amazing. It really does stop. I mean, as you can probably see from this video, Oh, it's terrible lighting, I know, but I don't... Normally I'd look... I've had this, this makeup that's been on all day. Um, I'm just home from work now. This makeup's been on all day, and apart from just putting a bit of powder on, I've done nothing. I've not had to blot, I've not had to degrease or anything. Um, and this really does work. Really would recommend it, although it is expensive for what it is. Um, over a pound a milliliter. Well, no, actually, just slightly under a pound a milliliter. Uh, the next thing I got was Urban Decay's De-Slick Mattifying Spray. And I only got the travel size because I thought I didn't want to... Um, get a great big one for £20 and decide I don't like it. This was only £9 um, and this is what it looks like. And again, I've been using this every day and they say to do a, like a, a cross and then a T. Uh, and again, this is this I would recommend this. I will be purchasing. When this runs out, I will be purchasing the big size because um, it's really, really good. Really recommend it. I have a lot of problems. As I said in previous videos, I have a lot of problems with greasy, oily skin. Uh, and this is amazing. Uh, the next thing I got was again by Lancome. And this was their Tent, Tent Visionaire, Tent Visionaire um, Serum. And this is in shade 2. And this is amazing stuff. Um, this has actually got their Visionaire Serum in, which I believe is £100 for 30ml. So to get that in the foundation is just amazing. Um, so that's what it looks like. And as I'm sure you've probably all seen from other beauty bloggers, you've got the corrector on the top and there's also a mirror. And... Then obviously you've got your foundation in the bottom, which has just got a pump like that. And I will just quickly swatch the colour so you can see. And that's what it's like. And it goes on and rubs in, blends in. It's quite a light coverage. I don't know how well you can see that in this light. It's quite a light coverage. It's not one of these really heavy, heavy... Let me see the difference between my two hands. Um, one of these really, really heavy foundations. I can't bear heavy foundation. When I got this, she gave me... Um, I got a sample of the 24 hour foundation uh, which is supposed to be mattifying and a sample of this, I mean the woman in the shop recommended because I've got because I've got oily skin um, she actually recommended that I used the 24 hour but the coverage was so thick and although it was expensive I found it was still caking and it just by the end of the day it just looked horrible it looked it just looked powdery and bitty and I didn't like it so although she didn't recommend this one for my skin actually I've been using it and you can obviously I've got it on now and that's after a day's wear. Um, even though she didn't recommend it for my skin, I think this is this is amazing. And I'm for the, even though it was thirty six pounds, I think it's brilliant. The corrector is just a little bit heavier, and it just covers like any eye circles and the like. And it's it's brilliant. Really highly recommend that. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. Uh, the next thing I got was free on a magazine, and it is the Percy and Reed Volumizing No Oil Oil. Um, not tried this yet, but I thought. It's a half size, I think it's worth about £7.50. And this was free on Glamour magazine, which is only £2. So actually it's quite a good quite a good thing. I think Glamour are also doing um, a shampoo, a conditioner and maybe a mask for free. So you could collect them all and you'd still save quite a lot of money. Uh, this is 30 millilitres. <coughs> Sorry, you can see I've still got a bit of cold going on. Um, next thing I got was by Dior. And this is the Lip Glow. And this is... It's like a lip balm and it just goes on um, and it's supposed to sort of enhance your natural lip colour. So if I put a little bit of this on. I don't know how well you can see that, but it just it just gives a really nice pinky effect to your lips. Um, I'll swatch it on this hand, which I haven't put foundation on. And as you can see, there is, swatching it on my hand, there is no colour at all. That's what the product looks like. Um, and it's just, I'm really enjoying it. It's not one of these ones, sometimes I find that even balms dry my lips out. Um, but actually, I'm really loving this at the minute. It was expensive, I think it was £22 or £22.50. So, although it was expensive, actually, it, it's a good lip balm and it's probably worth the money. Again, I had a voucher, I sold a phone and got a voucher for Debenhams. Um, so actually, everything I bought didn't cost me anything because I sold this phone. Um, but yeah. So, the next thing I have, well, the last things I have... Are some, no, actually, no, sorry, I really, no wonder people dislike my videos because I'm so disorganised. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. The next thing I've got are these two little palettes from H&M. 
Uh, this one was three ninety nine, uh, and it's a smoky eye palette, and you've just got going from white, um, varying shades of grey and a black. Uh, and for, for four quid, it's actually a really nice palette. I've used this a couple of times, uh, and this, they're really pigmented. I'll, I'll just swatch you. I'll just swatch you a couple of them. So that's one. That's the lightest shade of grey, um, and that's the darker shade of grey going. So that one and that one I've swatched. So yeah, they're really nice and they go on really nicely. Uh, so yeah, and the next one I got another palette, and this again is a smoky eye, and this has got varying shades of purple through to black. So again, I'll just do you a couple of swatches. So that's the purple one. This camera, and then that sort of a, this one's more dark kind of mauve colour. So you can see they are really. The cheap eyeshadows, they are actually really pigmented. And this one was actually on sale, this one was £2, not 4 <coughs> I do apologise to keep coughing. Um, right, the next thing I bought are some clothes. Right, if I show you the dress first, then the other bits will make sense. Um, this is from my favourite brand, Hell Bunny. Uh, and it's just a really cute gingham dress with like bows on the bottom uh, and a sort of lace-up details on the front. It's just got stretchy stretchy sides so it gives the perfect fit. I mean the straps are a bit long so I can't wear it like it is here. I'm going to have to wear mine as a crisscross crossover back but there are like buttons so you can shorten them and adjust them and it's got like ribbon running through the, um, the, the neckline as well with again bows on either sleeve and just a zip just a zip up the back and then obviously it flares out to quite a full, as most of the Hell Bunny dresses do, it flares out to quite a full skirt. Really flattering, really cute. Um, and with with the bows at the bottoms, you can actually gather it to make it as long or as short as you like. Uh, and I am very tempted to buy a pink petticoat to go underneath this. But at the moment I can't find the 20 inch petticoat in pale pink, so I'm guessing that's something that's coming later. So yeah, I got that. And then to go with that, because I thought black leggings, black tights, going to be a bit much for that, not going to really work because it's obviously a cute summer dress so I bought some from Prime, I think that was the dress was £45 and um, then from Primark I just got some cute little white socks with a little little ruffle along the top just to go with it um, so yeah, like that, and they were £1.50 and then to go with that I bought again this is something I can't wear until the summer if we get, ever get a summer here in England um, I then got some cute little white pumps Again from Primark, I think they were £3 just to go with it. Um, so yeah, I thought that was quite a nice look for the summer. Uh, I may I may get a pair of white cutoffs or wear a pair of white cycling shorts if I can find some, just to go underneath, because I'm not really one for having all my legs bare. I'm not really, I don't, don't like it. I'm not one of these people who can have all bare legs. I quite like my modesty covered up with, with leggings or, or cycling shorts or something. So I'll probably try and get that. Um, and again, I'll probably get a petticoat. And if I do get a petticoat, I will do a video and show you what that looks like. Um, sorry, I just went and found the other brush I wanted to show you. Um, this is an H&M an brush. Again, this was £1.99. So it's really, really inexpensive, really, really good. I've had one of these for ages, but I wanted to get another one, so I've got a second one. Um, and it's double-ended, so it's got the eyeshadow brush bit there. And it's got the... Um, I use this for... I wet this and use this for eyeliner when I want to use a shadow as an eyeliner um, at the other end, and a 199 I mean I know people say about Sigma and this, that and the other, but if I show you, quickly show you my brush collection this is my brush collection um, and they're all cheap they're all cheap brushes, I mean I, that's a number 7 brush that's an Estee Lauder one, but that was free in a set, I mean, as you can see it's not the best quality thing um, another H&M brush it's a blended foundation brush. Don't like that foundation brush simply because I think it's too dense. Um, and they're just all cheap Barry M brushes, all just cheap brushes. I don't think you need an expensive brush, but um, I really don't see that it makes any difference. Yes, sometimes they lose they lose fibres, but it stops after a little while. You may be on the first couple of applications, you'll lose a fibre. All you've got to do is flick it off with your fingernail, and you, you're well away. So I don't see the need to spend forty or fifty pounds on expensive brushes. Um, but yeah, that's my, my little rant about brushes. But that is everything I bought. So, yeah, quite a few high-end products. Luckily, I got to sell, sell this phone so I could buy these. Um, a few cheaper bits. 
So um, again, I hope you enjoyed this. So it's really disorganised. My videos always seem to be chaos. And I always seem to drop things on the floor or not find things. But um, just remember, if you enjoyed this, a thumbs up. It does mean a lot to me. Um, subscribe if you want to see more chaos and more disorganised videos. Um, yeah, and oh, and if anyone could tell me how, because whenever I edit, whenever I upload my videos, I never edit them. I don't know how to, don't know what to do, don't know what site to go on. If anyone could recommend a site to edit my videos or a way to edit my videos, so I can so I can edit out the chaos, and um, that would be great. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.